The mix control down is used to control the pitch of the second string. It does this by allowing the second string to have a frequency that is based on a multiple of the original string's frequency. This can range from a quarter of the frequency through to four times of that of string 1. For those of you that might not know how this relationship works, it is important to note that the doubling of a frequency has a result of producing a sound that is pitched one octave above, and halving a frequency will result in a sound that is one pitch below the original. The 3 to 1 ratio and the 1 to 3 ratio will result in a string 2 playing a different note from string 1, creating a 2 note chord. The controls for the damping are identical for both strings. They each have an amount, sharpness, and offset knobs. The role of the amount control is immediately obvious as you use it. The note is basically damped or muted in relation to how much the control is applied. The role of the sharpness control isn't so immediately obvious, however it just controls the rate of the decay of the damper tone. That leaves the offset control. The graphical display underneath the controls for string 1 also provide a visual feedback on what is happening with regards to the string. If you move the damping control, you can see that these nodes here move to visually represent what is happening to the strings. This offset control allows you to apply a different offset to the node on this side. In the center of the display, you can see a visual representation of two pickups. This is the kind of setup that you may have with a guitar. The first pickup is represented here and is sitting at a point that is fixed. However, the second pickup can have its location moved backwards and forwards in relation with the bridge and neck. Again, this has an effect on the resulting sound you hear. As you can see, the controls for the second string are just a repeat of the controls you have available from string 1. The last control for this section allows you to introduce some feedback into the sound. Primarily, the pickup and the feedback controls will have more of an application when replicating an electric bass or guitar. However, if you feel like being a bit of an experimentalist, there is no reason why you can't use these on other types of sounds to produce something that is a little bit different. <laughs> 